Hi guys, this is Jackie Mahalchik with Birdsong Cats Real Estate Group. Um, today I wanted to talk about uh, the different types of representation there are out there um, in the real estate world. So you might hear words flown around out there such as seller agent, buyer agent, and a transaction broker. What does that mean? Um, when I ask people, what do you know what a transaction broker is? They're like, what's the difference? Do you know what a buyer agent is? Well, I kind of think I do. Um, so let me just break it down really quick. The best way to describe the difference but of the two in the easiest terms, even for us realtors, is a transaction broker operates basically as a referee. They are the officials that are working for the transaction, working within the confines of the contract, making sure that everybody is playing fairly, everybody is on the same page, and that they're following all the rules. Now, take an agency relationship, be it a buyer or a seller, and that agent is doing that as well as advocating for the side that they're on. So if I am working with a buyer, I'd be the buyer agent, and I'm making sure that I'm following the rules within the contract, saying, making sure everything's abided by. But I'm also now um, working with the best interest of my client. So if it's with the buyer, I'm trying to get them the best negotiations going. I'm looking out for the best interest. I'm advising them of what I believe they should do based on past experiences um, or just my experience in real estate. Same as with the seller. We're looking out for your interest with our knowledge and experience that we have. Now, we can give you advice. We can act as a coach. So that's the word that makes it different. An agent works as a coach and referee. A transaction broker works solely as a referee. They don't have a fiduciary liability with their client so that they cannot advise them or coach them as to what to do. I guess they can use, I, I shouldn't have used the word advise. They can advise them of the confines of the contract. They can just, they can't coach them as to what they think they should do, what's in their best interest. It's a fine line. It's so convoluted at times. Um, I just err on the side of being a buyer agent because I know when I'm working with somebody, I'm totally advocating for that person. I don't want to have to worry about if I cross a line versus being a transaction broker. Am I, am I sharing too much? Um, am I pushing too hard? My, I really believe in my heart of all hearts that when you work with me, you're getting my all. I'm going to do the best job possible for you. Um, and with buyers, you're kind of silly not to use a buyer agent um, because you don't have to pay for them. There is no charge to use an agent, a buyer's agent, when you're trying to buy a property. Um, it's the same. I mean, if you could choose a transaction broker or a buyer agent, and get a little more advice and maybe a little more guidance, why wouldn't you go with the buyer agent? Um, the sellers pay that side of the commission. So for a buyer, you get representation for free. That's awesome. The seller, you're gonna choose between getting representation as from a transaction broker or a seller's agent. You're paying either way. Why are you not paying extra to have them advocating for you, giving you advice, sharing their knowledge? As agents, that's our job. We sell, help people buy and sell real estate. We know the contracts. Our job is to help you. So that's a little bit of insight on agencies, uh, buyer, seller, transaction broker. All right, I better get back to my open house, but I uh, just wanted to chat about that a little bit and hopefully I didn't screw it all up. But um, you guys have a great day and I'm going to try and post more of these as I can. Thanks. Bye.